What's going on guys? Welcome along to another video. Again, a little bit different. Today, I've taken out this Yamaha's e-bike, their Moro 07. Now, it's January, it's cold. The video ain't gonna be too long. I'm a motorbiker, as you know from the channel. Mountain bike is not my thing. But in January, a lot of people tend to have New Year's resolutions, and one of them might be to get out more, go and try new bike rides, etc. This could be your little cheat code into that uh, New Year's resolution. This bike is not cheap, coming in at 4,150 pounds. Now, from a motorbiker like myself, that's a lot of money to spend on a mountain bike, but actually really cheap for a motorbike. I'm sure there's mountain bikers out there that have got really expensive bikes. So this might not be that expensive to them, but yeah, 4,150 is a lot of cash dollar. This is gonna come in two main different color variants. This is the black and blue, or we can get silver and black. Me personally, I really like this black and blue color. Yamaha have actually been making e-bikes for around 30 years. In the UK, they've only really just kind of come around. I think uh, these kind of Yamaha model lines have only really been around since April last year. Yamaha do several different pedal assist style bikes, which is this is one of them, or they've got their more full electric with the uh, thumb assist on the old electric side. We've said it is an expensive bike, but actually in the UK, we've got the government right to work scheme, which means you can save yourself between 25 and 39% on the price of a brand new bike. That's obviously dependent on uh, your company that you work for. So I'm not gonna get into that. You do the research, but yeah, you could save almost 40% off this price, which let's face it, could save you a pretty penny. I did already mention it that this is a pedal assist e-bike and that is actually really important because of the two different style of e-bikes that Yamaha have got. UK, again, the government say that you don't need anything extra for this e-bike, but if you've got a bike that goes over a certain power, I believe, then it starts moving into the CBT territory where you then need to have insurance uh, and other complications. So this Moro 07 is ideal if you want a little bit of extra oomph when you're riding, but you don't have to pay uh, any insurance or anything else. This bike is fairly light, coming in at only 24.3 kilos. I know one of the other electric bikes that I am currently testing on the channel is around 37 kilos. Not being a mountain biker or a cyclist, you know me, cyclists do my nutting. Uh, I'll tell you what I think of it, just from a purely unbiased perspective, not sitting around, let's go and ride it. With this bike being a pedal assist, you can choose to either turn the battery on or leave it off. To turn it on, it is simple as pushing the power button, top left hand side of the kind of display unit down here. There are two lights. The white on the left is the battery percentage, how much battery you've got left. And then the green is the battery power. To adjust the power, left thumb, you then push the little button up and down, and then it will just go between Four bars and zero. Zero being off, four being full. And remember, this is a pedal assist. This will only assist you up until 15 miles an hour. And after that, it's all on you. So if you're going downhill, it will only get to 15. And then the rest of it is just gravity and, and obviously you're pedaling. As mentioned, we have got 12 gears. They're gonna be changed on the right hand side, your thumb and trigger finger. Exactly the same as any other bike. Going uphill. I've got it in full power and I'm barely pedaling and it's obviously assisting me very nicely. This is quite a steep uphill, camera will not pick it up whatsoever. The seat is adjustable. To adjust it, there's a thumb button. You push that in and you can just push the seat all the way down and then from there you just push the thumb button and it releases the seat to the height that you need it. Super easy on adjusting it, getting steeper lowering the gears still really nice and easy pedal oh, and there we go I've got a day sack on it's quite heavy and that was pretty easy brakes on this being Magura <laughs> they work perfectly super strong but when you want them to be they're nice and progressive but then you get get on the brakes hard and you'll be stopping in no time. The battery can be charged in the bike or you can take it out. 
and then charge it inside, whatever you want. I've got a really delicate derriere, so I get saddle sore on no matter what bike I go on. And uh, yeah, I can feel it on this bike. It's not the most comfortable bike, uh, bike seat. But nice look, control on the brakes, super easy. Gear changes are nice and affirmative. You can definitely feel when they've changed. But they're not too clunky. Not know much about these suspensions. I believe they are adjustable. They've got the old clickers on the top. But going along, but yeah, suspension feels really plush. You can definitely tell they're uh, premium, premium products. But let's face it, at that price point, you want them to be. So this is the bike that me and Mark are going to test out against the Engway electric bike. That is also pedal assist, but that does have a thumb accelerator. We'll do some top speed runs and see how they compare. It's going to be slightly different because like I said, Engway thumb accelerator, you can push it and get up to about 30 miles an hour. This pedal assist only to 15, but it'll be good to see what someone else thinks of the two bikes back to back. This bike does come in three different frame sizes, small, medium, large. I think this is probably a large. I fit it quite nicely. Again, coming down really, really steep banks like that. Handles nicely, you can just feather, feather the brake so you can come down nice and controlled. Well guys, I'm starting to not be able to feel my hands, so I'm gonna call it a day there. Thank you very much for watching. A little bit different again. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. More importantly, subscribe to the channel. Helps us keep doing random things like this. Till the next one, ride safe.